uh, is pushing the country towards the uh, brink of civil war, unfortunately. Uh, he's proving again and again that he's not being a president for all Egyptians. He's only a president for the Muslim Brotherhood group. Uh, we saw the president getting very angry and his group getting very angry uh, when there were attempts to protest, I would not say attack, to protest in front of the headquarters of the uh, guidance office in Mokata. But we didn't see the president getting angry at all uh, when other peaceful protesters were attacked brutally in front of his palace on the 5th of December. We have not seen a single case being moved against those who killed my fellow journalist al Hosseini Abdeh on December 5th. There was no one presented to trial. I did not see the president and his group getting angry when journalists were attacked in front of the guidance office, the Brotherhood's office, in Mokata on this uh, March uh, 16th. Uh, or even the president getting angry with one Egyptian woman and one Egyptian mother getting beaten by a member of the Muslim Brotherhood group. We did not see any measures. So this kind of escalation, again, is the president's opponents. Again, is the symbols of the Egyptian revolution. We lived the revolution two years ago. It's definitely a reverse. Uh, again, it's the principles of the January 25th revolution. And let me remind President Mohamed Morsi that at least four of the five who are now being summoned uh, to be facing charges were among the front lines of those who led the revolution two years ago, the same revolution that allowed President Morsi to get out of prison and to become a president of Egypt. So don't turn against the people who allowed you to reach power and allowed you and your group uh, to be in control of the Egyptian country, of Egypt. So please act as a president for all Egyptians and not as a president for the Muslim Brotherhood. after the other. And let me tell you, as an Egyptian, I care for my country. I know that the Muslim Brotherhood are not going to disappear, and we are not going to disappear. So what I'm telling President Morsi, please, President Morsi, let's work together. I'm not saying that I want to exclude you, but don't also exclude us. And now they want to arrest us. Now they want to put us into prisons. Now they are accusing people of basically absurd accusations. When you accuse people like Dr. Baradai, like Hadi Sabahi, like Amr Musa of uh, resorting to violence, I'm sure nobody is willing to believe you at all. And we were expecting the president to respect the rule of law and to be accurate when he speaks about some sorts of accusation and not to spread rumors and not to threaten the media. We wanted more freedom for the media. Right now we're seeing threats by the president that he's going to close down more and more channels. We as journalists were being attacked and threatened. So definitely we're seeing a collapse of the rule of law in this country because of the policies of President Mohammed Morsi and the Muslim Brotherhood. Yeah, but we're not going to